this is one of the first videos I've made on this channel and I just want to say thank you for clicking on the video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash haul of some of the manga that I've ordered this month. Um, yeah, I'm not much of a talker so I'm going to put some text on the screen which explains what the book's about. So this is I Hear the Sunspot Limit 2 which is actually the fourth volume but if you may know the book started off as a one shot and then turned into an actual volume series um i love this story um it is a bl between a deaf boy and a hearing boy and it's just the cutest thing i would really recommend it The next book that I have is Astro Lost in Space. I ordered the entire t series of this um, manga, all five volumes, which will show me unboxing in this video. I am obsessed with the covers. They are just so beautiful and colorful. Um, they look amazing on my shelf, which I'll show at the end. Um, this is volume 2, I think, um, they, I opened them in a weird order because I couldn't see which was in the parcel, but yeah, um, I don't know much about this series, but that they are some teenagers who go on holiday and end up in space, I've heard that it's a lot like the game Among Us, um, with who betrayed who kind of thing, um, this is volume 3, Again, the covers are just amazing. I love the space theme for this book. Um, I usually only read romance mangas, so this is a bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm going to try something new and I'll probably do a review on it um, in a later date. This next manga is a bit different. It's not Astro Lost in Space. It's a sign of affection. I ordered this a while ago from Blackwells, but it never arrived, so I had to order it again off Amazon when it finally came back in stock. Um, I am obsessed. It's absolutely gorgeous, and this art on the inside is just incredible. I'm so excited to read this series. It is a romance between a deaf girl and a hearing boy, from what I know of, and kind of similar to I Hear the Sunspot. Um, the next thing I'm unboxing is from World of Books. I love World of Books. I They have free shipping and their books come within two days to my house. So it's just like the same as Amazon Prime for me. I have Astral in Space Volume 4 to go with the series. I just noticed this while unboxing, but volume 5 is actually bigger than the other four volumes, um, which is understandable, it's the last one in the series. Um, I'm really, really excited to read this, like I said, and I will do a review video on it. My next video is going to be a manga shop with me and haul, as um, the shops have just opened again from the lockdown being lifted. So I plan on going straight to the manga section and buying some new manga. Here I have Ten Dance Volume 2. I just got Volume 1 the other day. I ordered this thing from Book Depository. It took a while to come, but it finally did. I My favourite thing about this series is the inside coloured images on the first few pages of the books. They are always so gorgeous. These ones are probably have to be my favourite ones. Um, this is a BL about, I think, Latin dancing, ballroom dancing between two guys and they learn each other's style of dancing and I'm super excited to read it. Um, it's definitely something different. I read a lot of BLs, but this is something that I haven't read before, especially like dance. Um, so yeah, these are all of the mangas. I'm going to put them on my shelf now.
I just wanted to add at the end of this video that I only just recently started collecting manga after watching the anime Citrus, which you can see on the side right now. I decided to collect the series just to know what happened at the end. Um, and I loved it. I decided to collect more manga. I have the whole Kamisama Kiss series as well. Um, I will do a collection video one day, maybe when I get a lot more manga. But for now, I hope you can like and subscribe and comment down below some manga recommendations that are your favourites and it would mean a lot. Thank you.